The President, please be seated. The Chamber is now back in session. We will continue to hear the testimony of the witness Susti. Susti. Before the break, the international co-prosecutor put a question to the chamber for clarification to the witness regarding the total number of children which he observed during his work as a record keeper at the S21 security office in Phnom Penh. The chamber also took note of the uncertainty that you have said because you yourself did not involved directly with the children as they only came along with their parents. And you talk about hundreds or hundreds. So can you verify whether they were in the total number of 100, more than 100, 100 or less than 100? When you talk about more than 100, it could be less than 200. However, when you said several hundreds, it could be three, four, five hundreds. So can 500, you provide a clearer response to this question? Ce point? How many in total? Au total y avait response Réponse. for the children According to my observation, though I am not certain, si je suis pas certain it could be more than 100, up to 200 the most. Plus centaine 200 maximum. The President, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, so Le now you clearly Monsieur hear it's between 100 to 200. The Vietnamese prisoners of war Question. Pour ce qui est who were arrested and brought to the center, qui ont été arrêtés, qui ont été did you know the total number? Total? Were they in the total of 100, less than 100, Moins or centaine, under 200, or under 300? We don't cinq. want a clear total number précis. if you don't have it, because it's been happening so long already. So can you please provide your estimate on the total number? Response. From my recollection, although it is not clear, I think the total number was less than 100 for the Vietnamese prisoners of war. Question, what about the Vietnamese civilians? What is the total number? Response. I am also not clear. It is my estimate. It, the, to, the number could be 100 or a little bit over 100. Question. Regarding the working hours, question. When you worked on the list and making the list of the incoming prisoners or the outgoing Lorsque prisoners, now at this time, we, let me talk about the list temps, for the incoming prisoners who were arrested from outside and brought to the prison, center by the special force. When did you start working? What is spéciale. your working hours? Response. Working with the list of the incoming prisoners, 
the working hours varied. I was asked to be on alert 24 hours a day because the prisoners came at various times, sometimes in the morning, at noon, in the evening, sometimes at 12 midnight, sometimes at 4 a.m. in the morning. Question. So you hate to be on standby 24 hours per day, and you started working once the prisoners were sent without any delay. Is this correct? Response, yes, that is correct. Question. While you were working there, did you ever witness the arrival of those who were arrested en masse, who were sent at one time or in one day? Did you ever witness that? Response. For the prisoners who were sent, usually the number could be four, ten, 20 or 30 the most. However, toward the late 1978, they were sent en masse. Sometimes there could be more than 100 of them, but not, many on, not on many occasions that they were sent. They were usually sent from the northwest zone on a few occasions. As I said earlier, the regular number range from one person to 20. Question. Did you ever experience the sending to as many ones of the prisoners in large number? And did the special force drive the, the vehicles that transported the prisoners directly into and inside the S21 compound as they were in large number because we have heard that when they were brought in in smaller number, they would be walked from outside into the main entrance of S21, but in large scale, they would be transported into the vehicle by the special force inside the compound. Did you ever witness that? Response, yes, there were cases like that. Questioned, if so, what was the process of processing those prisoners and how was the photographer processed those prisoners? Response. Toward the end, when they were brought in en masse, the prisoners were not brought into the location where they would be photographed. They were put into the detention facility and I went to that location to make the list there directly. I only recorded their names onto the list. The president, Question. you can continue. Poursuivez. Response. However, regarding the photograph, I'm not Dans sure. Photos, Maybe Ho would assign a photographer to photograph those before they were entered into the, the rooms. And that Dans only happened toward late 1978. Cela, uh, the president, we talked about the Question the time when the prisoners were sent in large scale On a parlé du moment où and when you had to groupe, make a brief biography of each prisoner and usually you would write the brief biography général, straight away and then you would hand it over, you would hand over le the prisoners to the guards and the guards would garde, send them to the detention rooms or the individual cells. Soit soit and in 
such cases when the prisoners were brought in in large scale, did the guard take those prisoners to be put into the common rooms or in the individual cells and shackle them first before you went to the rooms or the cells in order to register their names on the list? Or how was it done? Were they detained in the rooms first, and then the list was made later, or the list was made at the same time as they were brought in, and later on they were handed over to the guards to be for them to take to the detention rooms? Response. Let me clarify the process of the incoming prisoners. Once they arrived at my location, I registered their biography, and the guards would, on their own, take them to the detention rooms or cells. And for us, when we went to the those rooms, we did not go and make the list. We only get from the guards which prisoners were put in which rooms of cells, the president. So when they, the prisoners were brought en masse, then the operations were the same, that is, to extract their brief biographies, and later on they were handed over to the guards, so the guards could take them to be detained in the rooms of cells. Also, the common process would be when you would go and inquire from the guards which rooms the prisoners were brought in, so you would register the room numbers or the cells numbers onto the list. Is that correct? Do you understand the question? Response, yes, I do. In principle, the prisoners, once they were brought in, they would be questioned for their brief biography, and later on the guards would take them to be detained into the rooms or cells. And later on, when we went into the rooms, we did not ask for any further biography. We only asked the guards for the room numbers for those prisoners. So that we would ask the room numbers and the building, and that information would be kept at my location, at my office, and not to be sent to the upper echelon, because then when they would come to me to inquire about the prisoner, then I can tell them which room or which building they were detained. Question. In the detention facilities, that is the common rooms and the individual cells, were the numbers clearly displayed for those individual cells and the common rooms? Were any codes used? So if codes were not used, what was the process? La procédure par laquelle on devait passer. In the detention rooms, réponse. They always have numbers, including the numbers for the individual cells. Also, the building had a number. However, these numbers are for my own use in my section in order to facilitate the interrogation section so that they could ask the guests to bring them in. But the report which was sent to the upper echelon did not contain the room or the cell numbers. Question. Through your observation, when the prisoners were brought in, as you said, they were brought in by the special force. And you talk about the, the guards. The guards, after the prisoners were asked for their biographies and were photographed, then those guards would take them to the common rooms or to the individual cells. Were they taken by this, the guards' unit or by that same special unit? Response. 
au moment où les prisonniers, prisoners qui étaient brought in by the special unit, de l'unité spéciale, the compound. Les prisonniers amenés par l'unité once they, the prisoners were inside, then the prisoner would be handed over to the, pris to the guard section Ensuite, to take them to the individual cells or rooms. Qui les emmenés, Question. Qui les yes, you worked there directly. Question. Vous avez the prisoners uh, travaillé, uh, who were handed centre. over from the special force to the guard unit after their brief biographies and photographs were taken. And later on, the guards took them to the common rooms and the individual cells. Were those prisoners still in their dress or were the dress or clothes removed? Response. Let me clarify the previous question to make it uh, clear. Réponse. Permettez-moi de détailler. Regarding the special force, which or who brought the prisoners? Les forces spéciales qui a amené les prisonniers à l'intérieur du complexe. Then the guard section would tell them which rooms or which individual cells were vacant and available. Then the special force would take those prisoners into those vacant rooms or individual cells. Can you restate your second question, please, the president? So the special force duty was to delivered those prisoners Donc, inside the compound de la and handed over to you to extract their brief biographies for each les prisoner and after that they will be photographed and euh, after that the special force still has the duty to take them to the detention room or individual cells and only after that they will be handed over to the guards. Is this a fair assumption? Response, that is correct. The questions that I asked you previously said the president question. Did you observe when the prisoners who were brought in and later on they were taken to be detained in the rooms, were they still in the same clothing or were they clothes removed? That is, the pants or long shirts removed and they only were allowed to wear shorts. Euh, seulement autorisé Response. à porter pour seul vêtement leur the prisoners leur short who were vêtement. brought into my location réponse les prisonniers qui m'étaient the way they amenés, dress were wear it sometimes they only wore shorts some of them still wear wore shorts, pants leur although I am not certain parfois on ils this. portaient des pantalons mais je ne suis pas certain euh, de Thank you, says the president. Question, je vous remercie. Let me talk about another state. Permettez-moi de parler maintenant de notre interrogation phase. À savoir la phase de l'interrogation. What was your task involved in relation to the interrogation group? Par rapport au groupe des interrogateurs, quel était votre rôle? Quand the prisoners to be taken euh, out for interrogation and brought in after the interrogation. Euh, et in relation to my involvement with the interrogation unit, s'agissant de ma participation au travail, the interrogation unit would give me the name. Cette unité I only need the name and the ministry because I already know, knew their position. Ministère. Then I would indicate the room number or the and the building, and then the interrogation unit itself would go and 
take the prisoners for interrogation. And when the interrogation completed, they did not come to me. The prisoners would be brought into the rooms by the interrogation unit itself. Question. So if they need it, they would come to you to get the serial, the, the number, the cell number and the building number. Who actually annotated on the letter? Was it in writing? Who actually authorized for you to indicate the prisoners to be taken out for interrogation? Response. The names given to me by the interrogator, it was on a small piece of paper without any notice, uh, annotation. It was just the name and the position on a piece of paper. Question. I would like you to Question. reiterate again. You already said that the list of the incoming prisoners, Vous avez déjà once it were, one they were done, you would report. And whom did you report to? And what was his position? À qui deviez-vous la présenter? Et quelle était la fonction Response. de cette personne? Réponse. Regarding the daily list of the incoming prisoners, I made a daily report at 7 a.m. It had to be finished by that time. And after I completed the list, I gave, I gave the list to Paul for his signature. After he signed it, I would then take the list to give to Maine, who was in charge of the interrogation unit, which was the S21A unit. Question. Question. During the administering of prisoners at S21, were there cases where prisoners were relocated from the common rooms to the individual cells or from the individual cells after interrogation? to the common rooms? Did such cases exist? Response. The relocation of prisoners happened constantly according to the report made by the interrogation unit. Once the prisoner was interrogated, and if the, the prisoner was from the common room, then that prisoner would be taken into the individual cell to separate the person from those held in the common room. And that was reported to Ho, and from Ho I knew, and then I would make the adjustment on the list, that is the change from the common room to the individual cell. Porter sur la liste le fait que la personne était passée de la cellule, individu de la cellule collective à la cellule individuelle. Question. Did you ever Question. Experience Avez-vous jamais an rencontré where you met a prisoner un, and that a prisoner died? Une situation Did you ever un, un witness such cases? Um, et décédé. Vous êtes témoin de tels incidents. Pour ce qui est des prisonniers, rooms, 
I did not witness it personally. I only saw the report made by the medical personnel because in each building there was a standby medic. And if a prisoner was sick, then the medic would report to her. And also, a medic would report if a prisoner died. Dans le cas où un prisonnier so, venait à mourir, from the report, un rapport from devait être fait. The medic, which was sent to her, I would take that one and make the adjustment médical, on the list that I had. Roche, euh, suite à ce rapport transmis par Ro, je portais Question. une modification sur la liste. So for the prisoners liste. who died due to sickness Question. or insufficient food, Pour ceux parmi les prisonniers qui you would also make a list, that is, to uh, remove them from the list according to the report that you received, but you personally did not go and witness it, as it was the responsibility of the medical unit, and then the GAD unit would report to Ho, and Ho would give the report to you. Is this a fair assumption? Donc, un rapport qui vous était transmis, et ensuite, vous modifiez la liste, et vous transmettiez la liste à Ho. C'est exact Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Question. Question. Did you know if at S21 si an incident S21, such as the drawing of blood from the prisoners des choses comme par exemple le prélèvement sanguin des prisonniers according to the needs of the hospitals did you hear or did you know about the drawing of the blood of the prisoners? Did you have knowledge of the fact that the blood was drawn on the prisoners? The prisoners whose blood was drawn, I did not witness it personally, but I knew it as whole. Asked me to record the list of the prisoners who whose blood was drawn into the list of prisoners to be smashed. Et de d'extraire ces noms de Question. la liste des What did qui Ho être order you écrasé. So that you knew about Question. Que the Ho blood, the dropping of blood, de de faire par à cette and that the names of those had to be included into the list of prisoners to be smashed. What was the process from the start to the beginning regarding this section? Response. Regarding the dropping of blood, the medical unit made a request to Ho, and Ho subsequently made a request to Deutsch because any removal of any prisoner had to be authorized from Deutsch. So the dropping of blood, I personally did not witness it. Du prélèvement, des prélèvements but sanguins. for any prisoner Cependant, whose blood was drawn, the prisoner would die. Les Later, Ho would receive prélevé, the report mourir. from the medical unit Ho, indicating the names that they requested from Ho. And later on, I will verify the list against my list. Moi, je vérifiais les, les and that's all. Communiqué à Ho par rapport à la liste dont je disposais. Et c'est tout. The president. Question. Were you told by Ho to prepare que Ho any qui vous list in advance? For example, the list of A, B, C, exemple, uh, who were ABC. expected to have their blood, blood drawn. Qui, mm, dont on because uh, le sang. normally, as what we heard, ah, the ah. practice was that uh, the blood uh, would have been drained uh, from any detainee until they dying. So, who uh, were you assigned to prepare such lists? I mean, the list of detainees to be taken to have their blood drawn and that uh, later on their names would be included in the list of people to be smashed, or were the people who 
Rich is that in the list uh, of the people to have their blood drawn already considered as people in the list of the people to be smashed? Or can you tell the court uh, precisely what uh, were you supposed to do according to the orders uh, from court regarding the to be taken the blood uh, detainees? Détenus dont on devait prélever le sang. After any detainee's uh, blood uh, was drawn, then uh, the report would be sent to Hall. Était prélevé, un rapport était transmis à Hall. The president, so what about Question. your list? Uh, how could you have list? these names registered? Please uh, wait until you see the red uh, light uh, before you can respond. Uh, otherwise, your message cannot be communicated. Please answer again. Response. Regarding the to smash list, after a detainee was taken blood, then the next day there was there would be a report to Hall. Then Hall would take uh, the names of the people whose blood was drawn to be included in the list of people to be smashed. However, I'm not quite sure about this, whether the people whose blood was drawn had to be included in the smash, uh, to be smashed uh, list or not. The president, uh, to the best of your recollection, when the detainees whose blood uh, was drawn and then their names included in the list of people to be smashed, how many of them were they? I mean, how many people were taken to have their blood drawn? Just give us an approximate figure. Response. I'm not quite sure, but approximately there would have been two times when prisoners were taken to have their blood drawn, and in each occasion there would have been only like four to ten people at a time, so altogether maybe there were only about twenty people who were taken to have their blood drawn. The president, where were the places, or where was the place Question. in which uh, the detainees would uh, have their blood uh, drained or, or drawn? Pour que prélève leur sang. Response. It was not inside the prison compound that the medic uh, would take them to the outside location, and I was not in the position to know where it would uh, have been taken place, taking place. The president, so if you Question. was not involved Donc, in knowing si where these detainees would be taken si to, how could you tell the guards or uh, the, the people who were to take those detainees to have their blood drawn, uh, of which room uh, did they, they know the detainees would have been detained and, and the people who were to be taken away to have their blood drawn. So please tell us more about this. Response. To clarify this, for the detainees who were taken by the medic uh, to have their blood drawn, actually, before such practice could take place, there was a request made to Hall, and uh, before the detainees were taken out, uh, I would be 
informed or asked to identify the location of the detainees because it was part of my job. Le lieu où se trouvaient les détenus parce que cela faisait partie de mes responsabilités. The president. Question. You had uh, known this because you were involved in the register of the detainees. And à la to your des best memory, Et autant que vous en souvenez, were all the detainees who were detained at S21 interrogated, or were there any exceptions? Exceptions here mean people would not be interrogated at all. Certaines personnes n'étaient pas du tout soumises aux interrogatoires. Réponse. I think um, I'm not quite sure whether all the detainees uh, were subjected to be interrogated or there were exceptions or not. Détenus étaient interrogés ou s'il y avait des exceptions. The president. Now let's talk about the. Outgoing Maintenant, list of detainees. De, de liste In des preparing the list for detainees to be taken out from the prison, could you tell septembre. the court of the process? Est-ce que vous pouvez mm, nous expliquer quelle était la procédure Response. en vigueur? Réponse. After Hall received uh, the list, the full list from Deutsch who already annotated on those lists, then Hall would uh, give the list to me to verify the numbers, the names, especially who would be taken away to be smashed and who would remain at the premises. And after that, I have to register in the list by si identifying the building they belong to in order to facilitate the guards to take them out. And uh, after Et après registering the, the room numbers um, and uh, the building number, then I would uh, give the list back to Hall, who later on assigned their, uh, his men to take uh, the prisoners out. At the beginning, prisoners would not be taken to the outside of the compound. They would only be unlocked uh, and then taken to the outside uh, next to their room. And then I had to verify their names and roles, so on and so forth. And that uh, I was well informed and warned that if I made any mistake in the, with the names of the detainee, then I would would be accountable for uh, the si wrongdoing. I was warned by Hall, and I had to make sure that the information was precise, so I had to double check it uh, before I uh, gave the list uh, to Hall, and that's the time when my duty ended. Et avant de passer la liste à Hall. Et the President. Là que when you say that uh, detainees would be taken out to be executed, then their list Question should be uh, readjusted uh, and that uh, there would have been annotation from Deutsch to Paul, who later on sent the list to you to uh, verify them and uh, that you helped uh, facilitate uh, this uh, process to verify the names because you, want, uh, you would like to make sure that it would be easy for Paul to assign his men to take them out. And you said the detainees were taken out of the room and uh, were they taken to the door, the gate, way at uh, the entrance to S21 or were they just taken out from their rooms or respective rooms and while their names were being verified? Pendant que l'on vérifiait leur nom. Response. They were 
port uh, at the entrance or the gate uh, access uh, to the prison compound, la, uh, while their names portail. were finally verified. The president, uh, nom. did you have to do that in Question, general as uh, a principal or um, did only did it only happen when there were que a en masse uh, sending out of detainees to be executed and en that grand uh, while there were fewer prisoners to be sent out that uh, you did not have to do that? Pas à Can faire you please cela uh, au moment où elaborate uh, further on un this? de prisonniers devait être emmené. Est-ce que vous pouvez éclaircir ce point Regardless of any number of Quel que soit le nombre de prisonniers à emmener, le processus because I had no time to inspect uh, inside the prison cells uh, because these detainees uh, had to be taken to the gate, uh, the, the entrance, and uh, so I had to follow the same routine uh, with fewer or more detainees. President, uh, when tracked would be Question, coming to pick them up. Uh, were the trucks parked outside uh, the compound or were they allowed to come les, into uh, the complex to uh, pick those detainees before they could be uh, loaded to be executed? Responses. Et de les exécuter. Detainees would be loaded on the trucks uh, which Réponse, parked outside, les, uh, and after the final names were verified, then the, the truck uh, would leave or take l'extérieur uh, du complexe off, and, uh, after uh, leur and the door, les the gate door, would be locked, uh, and the trucks were not allowed to come in. The president, uh, so les at pas that time, dans le complexe. the front gate was locked. Uh, is that uh, correct? And that uh, only a small path would be allowed uh, for anyone to access uh, to their location in order to make it easy for you and for other people to verify the names of the detainees to be sent to be executed. Uh, 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 that's correct. Uh, because the exact. door would be partially le opened to make sure that only one detainee would be walking out at a time to that track. Afin de, uh, the president de uh, un seul could à la you fois puisse passer et donc try to recollect son identité the time vérifier la liste. when there were fewer detainees Question, being taken away to be executed and uh, uh, executed at uh, the nearby location next to the compound of du complex S21. Were there the same practices or routines uh, like those when the detainees would be taken away to be executed at Jane Egg? Please, pour tell the des procédures s'agissant des détenus qu'on devait emmener pour exécution à Chung Egg. Bye. Réponse. When detainees uh, were taken to be Quand executed just exécuté, uh, uh, in the neighborhood of the S21, the operation would be the same. The difference is that uh, when there were more people to be executed at Jung Ak, then they would be involved with trucks. And that's all. The president, so when detainees had to be Donc, smashed uh, at the nearby location at S21. S21. Were they also transported by trucks or were they walked to be executed? Response. I Réponse. don't 
remember quite well because I was not involved in how people would be taken away because I only paid great attention to my task to verify their names, although I knew that uh, trucks would be uh, parking outside, but when it comes to detainees who were killed in the neighborhood, I didn't know for sure. Response. Uh, the reason I ask question. this question because question in the case file uh, dossier, there are documents and there is uh, information concerning the individual detainees who would be taken des away to be smashed in that uh, nearby compound. À proximité. But then in the early 1980, the mass graves were resumed, was exhumed, correction, were exhumed, and uh, several mass graves were exhumed, and according to the records, there were in some mass grave, there were 28 uh, bodies, and at least uh, 16 bodies were buried in each uh, mass grave. That's why uh, we asked this question regarding the execution and how execution was carried out when, there, uh, when it involved fewer people and more people. For example, whether detainees would be taken exemple, all si together at once and that uh, they were sent uh, out from the vicinity and that uh, the door would be locked and that the list uh, would be finalized? Or would there be a kind of process in which one detainee at a time would be taken out and that the list uh, would be finally verified and this process could take time, for example, like hours? That's why um, it is important to know about uh, this. And we want uh, to seek for the clarification from you, so to your best recollection, can you tell the court whether you can remember it? Response. In general, I think in short, uh, I don't remember quite well, because normally after the final uh, the list uh, was finally verified and they would be loaded on the trucks and they would not be walked. The president, uh, were you supposed to Were you supposed to actually um, also make another list after execution was already carried out? Response. After any detainee was taken out and after the final list verified, the list would have been sent to Hall, who sent to the guards, uh, including Hoi, Pain who were holding the list after all. And after the, the detainees were executed, then Ho would grab the, the list and that I would uh, verify the list uh, against the detainees who were still in the prison and those who were already smashed. The president, so this process applied uh, to both en masse execution and uh, small execution. Is that correct? Response. That is, it's correct, Your Honor. Exact, Monsieur le Président. The President. Question. 
Were you trained or instructed and from whom regarding your daily operation at uh, the location? Response. How the lists were prepared were instructed by Hall, so whatever Hall would like me to do, then I would just follow his orders. The president. Question. What about the important detainees or foreigners? You said earlier that uh, when they were initially sent to be detained at S21, that those prisoners would not pass you because they were sent to the special prison. So when they were taken to be executed, uh, were you also involved in their registration? Response. Regarding the important detainees, it is true that they did not go through me because Deutsch already was quite aware of that uh, those important detainees and big people, and they had to execute uh, these uh, kind of operation themselves without having to bother me. The president. Question. Those who were in charge of uh, executing the important prisoners or detainees and Western detainees, were they supposed to send the lists of the people who had uh, been smashed to you to keep a good record? contenant les noms des personnes exécutées pour que vous puissiez euh, mettre à jour les registres. Réponse. Normally, the important prisoners at the special les les prisons outside of S21 and within S21, if they were smashed, uh, I was not well informed. But then, Paul would uh, bring in the list Dans of those cas, people so that I could have them included and reported to the superior. Que je dans le que je au supérieur. Question. President, normally in the lists of prisoners to be smashed, in which uh, you said uh, the accused would annotate uh, on such a uh, list. So how could you know that uh, these particular Comment names had to be smashed? How, how did you learn from the annotation tel tel uh, by Deutsch that you knew that the persons had to be smashed? Comment est-ce que les annotations de Duc vous Response. donnaient l'information nécessaire Réponse. Only Duc uh, had the authority Duc to annotate uh, anyone to be smashed. And they the used the code name like in Khmer, Kam Kam, which could be translated as smash. Un code en Khmer, il, il notait Kam Kam, qu'on peut traduire par euh, à liquider. The president. Question. Now let's talk about the list of the people who had uh, been smashed and that uh, you would be given the list to make sure that their names recorded and that uh, the numbers of people smashed uh, would be well recorded. Can you tell the court uh, about uh, this process again. 
response regarding the to smash list as I already said and I, so far as I remember sorry uh, Mr. President could you please repeat uh, your question the President according to your recollection uh, you said uh, that uh, there were lists of people to be taken out and people to be sent in and that people who were smashed uh, uh, the names of them would be sent to you by Hall with the annotations of Deutsch and you said that uh, those Annotation consists uh, of uh, the terms come, come in Khmer, which means uh, smash, and that uh, you would be given such lists so that you could have it them recorded in the, uh, the recorder archive to identify how many people would have been smashed. And you said that uh, you were warned that uh, if you had made any mistake regarding the people to be taken away to be smashed for example like any detainee who would not yet be ready to be smashed or taken away to be smashed and that you made a mistake to list their name in uh, too premature then uh, you would be punished and that uh, you had to work harder to verify those lists and that uh, the detainees would be taken to the gate and that you all, after finalizing the list and names, um, the detainees would be loaded on the trucks and that another list would be given to the people who accompanied the detainees to the killing sites. And later on, after they were executed, the list would be given back to, ye, to you to make sure that you can compile a common to be smashed uh, detainees or names. And that, after all, the names would be put in the report and that the report would be sent to the superior. The question is, what kind of information was needed in that kind of list, the list of detainees who had already been smashed and that you had to send to the superior? Response regarding the list of the prisoners who had been smashed already, next date I would have to report at 7 a.m. and the list was called List, list smashing list on, then a date would be inserted. And then the names of those who had been smashed in their positions would be recorded onto that list, a smashing list, and then the particular date. Question. You, question. In your response, you said the children were not registered in the list. The question is, from your observation, the children who were taken along with their parents, what happened to them? Where were the children, the children taken to? Response: The children who came along with the parents, they were not yet separated at my office, but once the parents were detained in the room, then the children would be separated. And once the children entered the prisons, they would not survive. All of them would be killed.
Tam look chong chum, the question from your recollection during the time that you worked. Were there any cases where prisoners were released? Response. From my recollection, the prisoners who were detained at Tulslang and during the time that I worked there, none of the prisoners was released. This is my observation and understanding. Question. Did you ever know or receive any information regarding an incident where a prisoner or prisoners successfully escaped from S21 compound? Response. I knew of an incident where a prisoner escaped from S21 prison and that prisoner was a former S21 staff. Later on, both the platoon and the companies in the guard unit were arrested. Questioned, did the prisoner successfully escape or he was re-arrested later on? Response. The prisoner successfully escaped. Questioned. The prisoner who escaped successfully and regarding the making of the list, which is part of your job, did you make any list for prisoners who successfully escaped? Response. For the prisoners who successfully escaped, whatever happened involving a prisoner, I had to report it as instructed by Ho in order to report it to the interroga interrogation uh, unit. For example, if a prisoner successfully escaped, I would write successfully escaped. And if a prisoner sick, was sick, I would also put it into the list. Also, I had to write it for the prisoner who died. And I would have to make a daily report on the conditions or status of the prisoners. Question. You said that because of an incident where a prisoner successfully escaped, and it led to the arrest of the S21 staff in large number. Is this what you said, or did I misunderstand you? Response. From what I knew, there were a huge number of arrests after a prisoner successfully escaped. Question. So after a prisoner successfully escaped, then the cadres and the staff of S21 were arrested and detained and later on smashed. Is this correct? Response. That is true. Especially those who worked in the platoon or in the company and also the guard unit which or whose task was to guard that building. They were all arrested. Question. When you talk about a company or a hundred, a unit of 100 and a, a platoon or a unit of 50, what do you mean by that? How many people? in each respective unit. Vous nous parlez d'une compagnie d'un peloton. Response. Il y a combien de personnes the, dans The unit unités? of 100 Réponse. is the company and the unit of 50 is en the platoon. On appelle uh, la compagnie, on l'appelle unité de 100. And in the platoon, there were 50. In the company, there would be 100. Donc ça faisait 50 personnes dans un peloton, 100 personnes dans une compagnie. Mm. Question. 
question. In the event of the arrest of the staff and cadres of S21, de personnel ou de cadre de S21. Regarding your duty as administering the list, did you process them in the same way as you process other prisoners or was it a special circumstance? Response. Could you please uh, Ask me again. Question. question. You talked about the arrest of staff and cadres at S21, including the platoon and the company and the, some members of the guard unit. And you said the arrest occurred after one prisoner successfully escaped from the S21 security office, and my question to you is, your duty in processing and preparing the list for those people si vous avez who were former staff and cadres of S21, pour ces gens, was the process the same as the process which you practice for other prisoners? Pour les autres prisonniers. Response. Réponse. Regarding the arrest of the cadres and staff of S21 office, Alors, I cadre, was not allowed to know who and uh, the order of Dutch was ordered to conduct Dutch those arrests, and I had no authority to do anything with this. Who gave the names Or, to me to extract those names from the list and to make a report to send to the upper echelon? Question. Question. So, this meant you Don't never have the opportunity to question Cela or to make any brief biography of the former S21 staff of cadres who were arrested. De, the arrest were made confidentially and the documents did not go through you and only after the arrest were made then the list was sent to you in order to include those names into the prisoner's list to be sent as a report to the upper echelon. Is this a fair assumption? Response, that is correct. Questioned, what happened when the former staff and cadres of S21 were to be interrogated. What was the process and your involvement? Response regarding the interrogation of the former S21 staff and cadres, the interrogation unit knew and recognized them. So there was no process involving me at all. Et cela ne passait pas du tout par moi. Question. Question. Did you know in the guard through the S21 staff and cadres who were arrested? Est-ce que vous avez connu des the process et des membres de S21 of selecting the targets of the staff? Who later became the prisoners? How was the target made? For example, how were they processed for interrogation? Did you know that? Response. I did not know any operations regarding the arrest or the interrogation of the S21 staff. It was conducted secretly and I was not allowed to know. Response. So you talk about the interrogation unit who covered the former 
H21 staff and cadres when they were taken for interrogation and when they were taken back into the rooms. How were they covered? What do you mean by that? Response. Once, when they were walked by the guards, they used cloth, cloth to cover their face and bodies so we could not recognize them. Response. And what happened after they were interrogated and they had to be returned to the room? Response. After being interrogated, the process was the same. Question. According to your knowledge, as you worked there and as you administered the list, and in respect of the H21 staff and cadres who were arrested, including those working at S21D or Presor, were they arrested and sent for detention at S21 location in Phnom Penh in the same way as those S21 staff who were arrested and detained at the S21 office in Phnom Penh? Response. Regarding the arrest and the detention, the process was the same, including those who were arrested at the S24 and for those who were in the guard unit, although I cannot recall it clearly, it's been so many years already, the S21 staff who were arrested at S21, they were put under the column of the general staff because S21 was under the supervision of the general staff. So the S21 staff would be written under the column of the general staff. Question, according to your knowledge, how many of them were arrested? And regarding the list, the list which is already in the case file, and the chamber will examine those lists in the case file. But the questioning now is verbal based on your recollection in order to verify against the list which is already in the case file and the information from various testimonies of other witnesses. So can you provide your estimate? Response. From what I knew, even if it's not certain, the total number would be more than 100 and up to 200. Plus de 100, voire jusque 200. Hey. Question. The staff and cadres of S21, including those at Bresol, their arrest and detention were done. Were there any releases of those after they were arrested? Or were they treated the same way as the ordinary prisoners? It means they would be smashed in the end. Um, en définitive, Response. éliminé. The treatment at Tulslang prison, à la prison de Tulslang, and the arrest of the X21 staff. Once they were arrested, they would be killed. Une fois arrêté, there was no release. They would be treated aucune remise en liberté. Like the ordinary prisoners. Ces personnes subissaient le même traitement. Um, Question. Par les autres you ordinaires. left the S21 Question. office. <coughs> Vous avez quitté le centre What day did you leave? De S21. À quelle date? Response. I left S21 Réponse. office J quitté le centre de S21. after I heard the gunfire. Après avoir I came out to inquire and I uh, left on that day.
coup de feu. Question. So when tiré, you have the gunfires, including the sounds of the armor tanks, is this correct? Lorsque vous avez entendu le bruit des blindés, Response. that is correct. Et euh, au moment où vous avez entendu Question. le bruit de coup de feu, hein, c'est à ce moment-là que vous êtes parti. So it meant you left on the 7th of January 1979, and if so, at what time? Si tel est le cas, à quelle heure? Réponse. It's around 10 or 11, I'm not really sure. Question. When you left, can you try to recall? Question. Est-ce que vous pouvez essayer de vous rappeler? Where the, the people at S21 and who left with you, how many types of people who left together? Were there any prisoners who survived and who also left at the same time as you were leaving with the other group of the S21 staff? Regarding Réponse. Leaving the S21 office on the 7th January 79, prisoners were also leaving at the same time. However, those prisoners were those who worked or who provided the service at S21. They left together with us. Question. So it means during the time. L'interprète se reprend. Question. During that time, certain prisoners were allowed not to be detained or chained in the detention room or in the individual cells, and instead they were asked to provide certain services to the office. The question is, for those who were allowed to work outside, what happens to their names in the list that you administered? Response. In the list, they would be marked prisoners working outside. On a posé à côté du nom des prisonniers la mention suivante prisonnier travaillant à l'extérieur. Question. What about the reports to the upper echelon? In despite of the prisoners who were allowed to work outside without being detained or chained in either the common room or the individual cell, in your monthly report or common report to be sent to the upper echelon, what information did you include in that list regarding this matter? Response. For the prisoners who were allowed to work outside in the daily list that I sent, they only include the names of the incoming prisoners. However, and also their names were not registered in the common report. The President. Question. Thank you, Mr. Surti, for your effort in responding to the questions posées. However, because now it's time for the adjournment, l'heure de lever l'audience. And that you still have to provide your testimony tomorrow morning before this chamber. We will take an adjournment now. And the chamber requires you to provide your testimony again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So please be here tomorrow morning. And the chamber is now adjourned. And it will resume tomorrow morning. Nous levons l'audience officer. Nous reprendrons demain matin. Can you facilitate Je prie lui with Wisu de vous occuper to de make necessary arrangement for the witness euh, to return to his residence or residing place and 
bring him back to the chamber tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. to continue the proceedings. Security guards take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back to the chamber before 9 a.m. The hearing is now adjourned.